Story time with Will. Last night, or, well yesterday, we went to a July 4th party to watch fireworks and things, and on the way home, I actually hit a deer. Now, the deer's head kinda, you know, it, it, well, we saw it last minute, we were driving and yada yada, and the deer walked across the road, and its head was right here, and I swerved to avoid it, like swerving over. I don't know why I chose to swerve, but I guess it was kinda good in this occasion. So I swerved to avoid it, and its head hit like my light. So I thought, oh crap, so my light's going to be cracked or something like that, or it's going to be messed up more than it is. And then I actually pulled the car over and stopped to look at it, and the car was fine. So I don't, I don't know if Bertha just tough as nails. Someone said on Twitter, Bertha must have had a box of nails for breakfast. But, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just happy there's nothing wrong with it. But then also on the way home, there was like something laying in the road and I thought that the car would avoid it and I didn't see it till last minute and then that kind of scraped underneath but it seems to be fine as well so besides that I'm just I'm really happy I did not mess up the car because I'm in a bunch of these charger groups on Facebook now and all these every day there's at least five people talking about they hit a deer or something and the issue is it normally, told, from what I've seen at least, from like the different charger groups and everything, it normally totals the car, which would not be very good at all, but I guess, I don't, I don't know. I don't know how that works with the insurance. If you hit a deer, does it still count as, as your fault for hitting the deer? And does your rate still go up? Because that would still be an accident, right? Even if you get hit, doesn't your, like... I, I don't know, so James was talking about the other day, but he was talking about how his girlfriend got into an accident and the other person was at fault, but her rate still went up. So I don't know if that's how it worked. Does your rate still go up? Or how, how does that work? I don't know. Um, but luckily Bertha seems to be all right. I checked because I kind of just looked at it and it was nighttime obviously, so I couldn't really see very well. But I looked and there was nothing wrong with it. But this morning I also went and checked out to make sure like none of the plastic clips on the light are broken. And I don't think they are by any means. So I'm just going to wash the car today. And I, I don't know. I don't see it. There was like a few pieces of hair from the deer in like near my grill area. But I don't think anything's wrong with it. At least I, I hope not. You know. But I also do know I need to... Well, it does need new tires at some point. I just really don't feel like putting them on at the moment. And they're wearing bait very evenly, so I don't want to bother with it. Um, if you guys didn't know Bertha, I have a 2013 Charger. Um, it's an SXT all-wheel drive plus uh, with the black top edition. So it's just a V6. But I figured there was no point in getting the 5.7 because the V6 has 80 less horsepower, but it gets a whole lot better gas mileage. Like I get 28, 29 miles per gallon on average uh, driving. And on the highways, I've gotten up to like 32, 33 miles per gallon. And I have like a 20 gallon tank on top of that. So it's really nice. Like I almost made it. Where did I drive to? We almost made it to Virginia without having to fill up. And I almost, ma I almost made it to West Virginia and back without having to fill up. But I filled up just in case. And, you know. But it's a beautiful car. I love it. Um, but I know it needs, I need to get new tires soon. But they're wearing evenly. So I'm going to wait until they get a little lower. But I need new tires soon. I also need to get them balanced because my grandpa's balancer, it's kind of for smaller tires, like 15, 14 di inch diameter, but the tires on the Charger are 19 inch. So there's a slight wobble in the wheel when I'm on the highway. There used to be a wobble in the car at like 70, like a little bit of shake, but we rotated the tires again. And now that I put the rear, the rear driver's side tire in the front passenger side, it's only in the steering wheel at times. So I, I need to get those balanced, but I'm kind of waiting till like I have to get new tires, you know, and I think I also need an alignment because it still drives straight, but I feel like that might help with that wobble as well. And then there's also a clunking in the front, like a small clunk. It doesn't affect driving or anything. I just, you know, when you own your own car, you kind of, you notice a lot of things wrong with it. So I need to fix that as well. There's a couple of things, different projects. And the issue is I have a warranty. But my warranty, it covers everything, but the deductible is $50, and 
And if the part's cheaper than $50, I find it just easier to put it on myself because I don't feel like taking it to a dealership and having to wait for everything they have put on and not getting my car back same day, you know. It's a pain in the butt. So that, those are just other things I need to work on. Um, but on another note, I there should be a guy coming to get the axle off the truck today and then maybe today or tomorrow, I'm not 100% sure. My head, my earbuds also come in today as well. Um, I'm just, I'm not sure on the situation because I told USPS to hold it, but then on the tracking, it's telling me that's out for delivery. So I'm a little confused because I told them specifically to hold it. But then the lady called me back later and she was like, I called the people that shipped it and told them uh, to, we're sending it back and to change the address. And, and I said, that's not what I asked you to do. I asked you to hold it. Because I didn't want to wait. I was hoping it was going to be here by July 4th. But of course, it, it's coming the day after. It would have came yesterday had USPS not been closed. You know what I'm saying? So I have that coming. Um, and the Sprint thing, it seems to be a situational. Like certain times it works, certain times it doesn't. Like last, yesterday morning, in the mornings it seems to work great. But yesterday at night after we got home, it didn't want to work. And I restarted six, seven times trying to get to work and it just wouldn't work. Like the speeds just wouldn't be consistent enough for me to stream. So I just called a night and I streamed this morning. Uh, but I've been streaming at, excuse me, eight in the morning and then like nine or 10 at night. So it's been a pretty good schedule. And I'm actually having pretty good luck in Rainbow. Well, up until today, because my computer kept overheating and yada yada, all of that jazz. But no one said anything about Super Mario Maker. Do you guys think I should get it or not? I'm trying to decide because I'm. At first, I wanted Red Faction, and I decided I didn't realize this was third person. I wanted first person Red Faction, so I didn't buy that. I don't really like how it looks, but then again, I still want to get it. Um, that was like, oh, okay, I'm going to get Assassin's Creed instead. Then I, I keep looking at Assassin's Creed and I'm like, this really isn't my style of game. Am I just buying it because it's on the Switch or because I actually want to play it? And then there's like, like I have, I bought Duck Game and I don't really like Duck Game. And I bought Saints Row and Saints Row is dope, but I beat it and now there's nothing else to do on it. And like Doom, Doom's really fun. I, I That's one purchase I do appreciate. And NBA is dope, but I really don't like NBA games, but it was only $2.99, so it's not a big deal. I, I need like a Call of Duty or PUBG or something with multiplayer that I can keep playing. But I'm still having a hard time deciding on what games to get now, so I'm thinking I'm just going to pre-order Wolfenstein and call it a day. But then I'm also thinking about Marvel Ultimate Alliance. I don't know if I want that. What do you guys think? I'm getting Wolfenstein one way or another, whether y'all like it or not. But should I get Marvel Ultimate Alliance? Should I get Super Mario Maker 2? Should I get... Super Mario Brothers U, or something like that, Super, something like that. Um, I, just something like that I really want to get, and I'm just going to get on cartridge and I can sell it later on, which I've said a million times already. But I'm just, I have my Switch and I want to play it so bad, but I just can't decide on a game to buy for it. And I don't want to play any of the games I have, and it's just rough. I need a game that has a multiplayer, something I can grind when I'm not home, but then I can also play on it when I'm home. Like if Call of Duty came out on it, it would be dope if I could play it when I'm home, like stream it and stuff, and I could also play when I'm not at home and grind it and get better and yada yada, you know? There's no multiplayer games like that. There's no game like Daisy or, and I know that it's not as powerful and I know the graphics aren't as good, yada yada, but I can deal with that. But I just need like a Daisy or an Escape from Tarkov or a Call of Duty or a Fallout or a, just give me Fallout 3 or Fallout 4. Like, it doesn't have to be 76. Um, just give me something like that. So I'm thinking about getting Skyrim too, but the price won't go down. And I don't feel like paying $60 to play Skyrim on Switch when I could pay 10 bucks and play it on PC. So I'm kind of having a dilemma with the Switch and I'm kind of disappointed in it because the game selection isn't what I thought it would be. But I also want Friday the 13th for it. That should be coming out soon. Um, it's just a matter of waiting for all these good games to come. I'm really, I, I want to try Anthem too, but I feel like it's just a Destiny clone. I'm kind of running out of games to try. But we started playing Portal 2, and Portal 2 is pretty dope. I'm just, I'm getting stuck in a lot of levels, so I'm kind of trying to figure out what I want to do about that, but going from there. But that's, that's just about it, so. And my videos, high end, talking to my mom, I said that's about it. So, talk to you later, Mom. Bye. Um.
But all right, that was my quick update about the deer. Uh, but Bertha's all right. We're doing okay. I uh, I need to get um, my wheels mounted and or balanced and get new tires and yada yada. They're just kind of expensive. They're like it's gonna be like nine hundred dollars to replace all of them, and I really don't feel like doing that right now. So. All right, guys, have a wonderful day. Let me know what you think I should get. Should I get Super Mario Maker or should I get Marvel Ultimate Alliance? Choose one. Just pick one. Just say in the comments, pick one. Or I'll put a poll on Twitter or a straw poll or something. You guys can vote there. But if you'd like, come out to the stream later at 9 or 10 o'clock. If not, come out to the stream tomorrow morning at 8 o'clock. And hope to see you guys there. So. No matter where life takes me, find me with a smile. Cause so to be happy, don't be laughing like a child.